Pakistan has achieved a landmark in its defense production journey through the indigenous production and integration of the CM-302 supersonic anti-ship cruise missile. This achievement signifies a profound leap towards operational self-reliance and represents a critical component of our naval strategy, ensuring the robust defense of our maritime frontiers and vital sea lines of communication. The journey to this point has been one of strategic partnership and determined technological acquisition. While the CM302 is recognized internationally as the export variant of the Chinese YJ-12 missile, a system considered one of the most dangerous anti-ship missiles in existence, our production and deployment of it underscore a sophisticated level of defense industrial partnership. This endeavor likely involves a deep transfer of technology from China allowing our domestic defense industry to master the complexities associated with manufacturing, maintaining, and ultimately enhancing such a potent weapon system, moving us beyond mere procurement to genuine mastery and integration. From a technical standpoint, the CM302 is a masterpiece of modern missile engineering, a direct competitor to other supersonic systems like the Indian BrahMos. Its design is based on ramjet propulsion principles, an advanced technology that requires no rotating turbines for compression, instead relying on the missile's own high speed to ram air into the engine for efficient combustion at supersonic velocities. This engine is integrated with a solid propellant booster section that provides the initial acceleration necessary for the ramjet to ignite and operate effectively. The missile is capable of reaching staggering speeds exceeding Mach 4 in certain phases of its flight profile, though it typically cruises between Mach 2 and Mach 3.5, making it an exceptionally challenging target for enemy air defense systems. Its operational range, currently rated at 290 km for the export variant, is a function of its flight profile. A high-altitude approach can extend its reach, while a terminal sea-skimming phase enhances its survivability. This range is perfectly suited for our immediate coastal defense and sea control requirements within the Arabian Sea, providing a formidable anti-access and area denial bubble around our naval task forces.